In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the Customize dialog window. Select Tools. This drop-down menu will look different depending on which workbench you're currently in. However, under Tools, click Customize, and the Customize dialog window will appear. First, we're going to choose let me close this for now. We're going to choose the workbenches which appear under the Start menu. They also appear in the Welcome to Katia dialog window that opens when I click on the Active Workbench icon on the Workbench toolbar. Customize. We can select and toggle the workbenches between the available and favorites columns. Close. As you can see, the product structure workbench is gone. It's also disappeared from our start menu. Let's go back to customize. We will find it and add it again. Another thing we can do here is select a shortcut. For example, for assembly design, Alt plus A will be our shortcut. And for product structure, let's try Alt plus P. Close. Now I can switch between the assembly and product structure workbenches using my keyboard. Simply press the Alt and P, and now I'm in the Product Structure Workbench. If I press Alt and A, I'm back to the Assembly Design Workbench. Next, as we know, is the User Workbench. New. I can rename it My Workbench. Click OK, and it becomes the Active Workbench, as you see here. And it appears here as well. And we can see it in the Start menu too. Next up are the toolbars. Toolbars here are associated with the toolbars of the active workbench. They're also accessible under View. Let me move this a little. OK, View, Toolbars. As you see, the available toolbars from this drop-down menu match what we see in the Customize window. If my active workbench was different, I would see different toolbars here that would match those in the Toolbar drop-down menu. We can modify toolbars, for example, Removing some of the commands. Let's say I don't need paste. And as you can see, that command instantly disappears when I remove it. Now, let's add the command back. Paste. Click OK. And now the command reappears, but it's last in the toolbar. Well, I can grab it and drag and drop it into the position where I want it to be. We can also rename our toolbars. Click OK. And the standard toolbar chain names, as you saw here. All right, let's rename it back. Click OK. Next up is the Commands tab. OK, let's choose All Commands. And as you see here, the commands from the Quick View toolbar have arrived. Let's undock it. Shift, Toggle, Release. Here you see the icon for Back View. It's the same icon here. If I click Show Properties, now I see the same icon here. I can choose my own custom icon if I want to. I can also change the title. 
which I actually don't advise, but I'm just letting you know that it's possible. Last up here is the Options tab. Here we can change the icon size. Katia warns us that changes will take place after restarting. We can also choose to see tooltips or not. Tooltips refers to the text that appears when you roll your mouse over an icon. You can change the interface language if you need to, and lock the toolbar's position. This concludes our tutorial on the Customize Dialog window.